to some surprising health news this morning. Turns out more than half of the nation's adults are eligible for the wildly popular weight loss drugs, Ozempic and Wagovi. According to a new study from JAMA Cardiology, about 140 million could be candidates for the drugs. NBC medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar joins us now to break it down. That's a whole lot of folks watching and listening right now. What are the qualifications, Dr. Nat, to be considered? Yeah, so if we break that down, of that 137 million, about 129 million people would be eligible to manage their weight, about 35 million to manage diabetes, and about 8.9 million people people to manage heart disease. These numbers really are staggering. And you know what? 137 million, that is more people that are that are el eligible for statins, which as we know mm -hmm. are just almost ubiquitous because of the risk uh, of their dramatic risk reduction in heart disease. Mm -hmm. And this comes at a very timely moment for us because just last week there was a report that um, that showed that about 75 percent of Americans are either overweight or obese. And in 1990, that number was was just over 50 percent wow. and the estimate is that 80 percent of people are going to be so by 2050 so this is definitely one of those wake-up calls to say mm -hmm. wow a lot of people mm -hmm. are definitely eligible for this medicine what well, does that mean that insurance has to cover because these are very expensive medicines they are very expensive and that is the rub savannah so if we're talking about commercial insurance yeah there's a little bit more wiggle room there in terms of covering for weight management but take a look at what how medicare covers this it is covered for diabetes it's covered for what's called second secondary prevention for heart disease. So if you're overweight or obese and you've had a heart attack or a stroke, for example, they will cover it. But Medicare does not cover it for weight loss management alone. We have spent a lot of time on our air talking about this. I have patients who are about to turn 65 and are doing really well in these medicines, and they already know that they probably won't be able to get it covered by Medicare. Wow. So again, mm -hmm. it's studies like this that we hope will definitely move the needle on coverage. Mm -hmm. It's definitely something that's super important. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Natalie. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.